Bob Woodward from Watergate fame once said that the worst thing we have to fear as Americans is secret government, that in darkness, democracy dies. Where this, eminent, this resolution emanated from over the last over a year is from a, a caucus uh, and the members on the other side of the aisle. And it is minimalistic in nature, but it's worse than that. It's not transformative, and it's not really leading to the transparency we need in this government to deal with the ethics violations and the corruption we've seen in the past. And I think the best way to define what you've accomplished here is that you've opened up the curtains and you've left the shade down. So what you've done is create some beautiful window dressing, but nothing that's going to create the transparency necessary to transform this body into something that the taxpayers, the public watching us, the media, and many of us who want to see something and say something that's inappropriate can relate to. The fact of the matter is, when you talk about a majority, and I guess this is the definition, and I think Thomas Jefferson and our founding fathers would totally disagree with you, I think their definition of what a majority is, are the governing body of which a majority, who represent a majority of the public, which is the 19 and a half million people of New York State, agree that they want legislation to come to the floor and have a discussion, a debate, and a vote. I think that's what they would define a majority. What you define it as right now, via the leader of this House, and I guess you agree with that, is if 75 members on your side of the aisle want a bill to come to the floor, and all 40 or 41 of us on this side agree with you, we want a bill to come to the floor, that's 115 to 116 members of the, this 115 50 body, 150 member body, that's not a majority even though it represents close to two-thirds or more of the population of New York State. I think our founding fathers would disagree with you. I know you control the majority. I know you have over 100 members. I know 76 passes a bill. But I think collegially, if we were to work together, and I'm not saying it's ever going to happen, that we, we do have an agreement with 75 members of yours, that means the bill doesn't come to the floor because even 41 of us who agree with you, you can't get that one other guy or gal on your side of the aisle to agree with it. That's really not what the public, I think, uh, sees as a majority or really working as a representative democracy. And the other part of this bill, you've got a nice, shiny new website. But you don't put on that nice, shiny new website all the discretionary funding that's going to be in the budget coming up Dick Dady from Citizens Union pointed out eight pockets of money of close to a billion and a half dollars of discretionary funds. Why isn't that going to be on the website? With an understanding of where the money is really going to go, people signing affidavits about no quid pro quo in relationship to this funding. Because if you don't, it's only in the best interest, not only of us, so as Preet Bharara says, we can see something and say something, we could take some of that unbridled power away from the leadership and disperse it, not stop them from leading, but disperse it and be real representatives, but it's in the best interest of the leaders here. So they're not tempted to game the system, and so everything is above board, and everything has clarity for us, for the taxpayers of New York State, and for the media, the fourth estate, which should be able to weigh in on where we use taxpayers' dollars. Leaders should not have access to a piggy bank, and we've got to break that and, and, and create some transparency there. We've got to have some magnification of where this money is going. And the best way to do that is, I think, support a truth in spending law, which says if you want to put $400 million into a slush fund or a pocket of money, you can't make it your own little piggy bank. You have to show the world including the most important part of this representative democracy, the taxpayers of New York State, where their money is going to be spent. And that doesn't happen with this resolution, and it doesn't happen with any of the rules changes I saw. And basically, you turn the curtain open, but you left the shade down. And I think Bob Woodward would be disappointed, and I think he would say, you tickered around the edges, but you created more darkness in our democracy. And that's not what we're here to do.
Thank you, Mr. Speaker.